Well, this is a very interesting tool that I created in Gemini Canvas. So basically, this is just a simple text-to-speech tool where you can convert text into speech. But here, there is not one model. Instead, there are two different AI models, which is Gemini TDS and 11 Labs TDS. So I could imagine that this tool might be useful if you want to do A-B testing or perhaps prototyping and see which version of the speech sounds better or more appropriate for your own application. Or perhaps maybe you can take some inspiration from this tool and implement that into your own project. But regardless of what is your goal or what, what is your project, I'm going to show you how you can actually put 11 Labs TTS into Gemini and essentially creating a dual TTS generator within Gemini. So, before that, I'm going to do a quick demonstration on how this thing actually works. Now, I have this simple text and I'm going to just copy and paste that right here. So, for both model, for each model, you can select the setting. Like in Gemini, there is a feature called style instruction, which is basically telling AI about the tonality, a style, emotion, or, you know, accent of the voice but that is optional. And on 11 Labs, you can select the model. You can also select the voice. So yeah, again, I think this is very useful for A-B testing and also just checking out which version sounds more appropriate. Now, after that, you can click generate and it will generate two different audio files and we can preview them together. So as you can see, 11 Labs is a bit faster than Gemini, but is it any better? Well, let's find out. I'm going to play the 11 Labs version Thank you so much for helping me move into my new apartment last weekend, especially for carrying that heavy couch up four flights of stairs in the pouring rain. Okay, that's decent. And by the way, I was using the version 3, which is the best model at the moment. So I think it's okay. But how about Gemini TTS? Thank you so much for helping me move into my new apartment last weekend, especially for carrying that heavy couch up four flights of stairs in the pouring rain. Okay, yeah, that's decent. Uh, it's actually a bit better in my opinion, but yeah, it is slower. Uh, sorry, the generation is slower and also the duration is a bit longer. But again, it really depends on which one do you think sounds better depending on what you need. Now, I'm going to show you how you can create an app like this using Gemini. So let's open Gemini.google.com. And of course, you can also use the mobile app version of Gemini. And here, you can insert this very long prompt into Gemini. I'm going to put this prompt in the description down below. Copy and paste. And here in the tools menu, enable the canvas mode. And for the model, I do recommend using the pro version because it is usually better at coding. Now, when you're done, just send a message. So basically, this prompt is actually telling Gemini to create an app that is utilizing the model from Gemini TTS and 11 Labs TTS to create a tool like this and it is actually trying to get the best practices from the documentation from each model so hopefully it is following all the correct implementation to actually use the models but let's see how it goes now this process will, will take about one to two minutes so i'll just skip over and show you the next step that you can do Okay, so the tool has been generated and the interface is a bit different and there is no guarantee that you will get the exact same UI, but more or less the layout is somewhat similar. Now, in Gemini, the Gemini TTS model is actually a, uh, has a built-in API within the Gemini uh, platform, so you don't have to insert any API key, you don't have to worry about billing or some other techni technicalities, but that is not the case for 11 Labs. But still, I think when it comes to getting API key, 11 Labs is a lot easier than other platforms like Cloud or perhaps OpenAI. It is so easy. So first, you have to insert the API key. Now, to do that, just navigate to 11 Labs and log into your account. And you want to navigate to a menu called Developer. So we just want to get the API key, navigate to the developers, and then go to API keys, and then click Create New Key. So you'll get some auto-generated name. You can change it, of course. But here, uh, the one feature that we want to enable is only text-to-speech. So just enable the access. Now, of course, you can enable other access if you want to use this API key for different tools or different use cases. But for this example, I'll just enable text-to-speech. Now, click Create. 
and there you go so you will get the api key remember you can only see this code once so perhaps if you want to use it again you might want to save it somewhere else because you will not be able to see this code again so i'm going to copy this let's go back to gemini let's paste the api key now here i guess we can start utilizing the tool now in gemini it is possible to change the tonality style etc so i'm going to change the style to be let's say british accent and for the voice uh, just choose randomly i'm not sure about that and the model here so there is a good chance that you might be only seeing version 2 or anything below it because sometimes gemini uh, the gemini code is not implementing 11 version 3 because version 3 is actually still in alpha so there's a good chance it might not appear but in this case it does appear so that's pretty good now for the voice i guess i will go with adam that's the og adam now for the text i'll just insert this text okay there you go now click generate audio and just wait by the way for gemini tts it is completely free you don't have to worry about payment or anything but for 11 labs tts it will tie it to your to your credits on your account so it is going to be using the credit set that you have and that's something that you might want to know and by the way it is still true even if you're using the text-to-speech tool within 11 labs you still have to pay the same amount of credit so it doesn't really matter after all now let's go back to gemini and as you can see we got two different audios this is 11 labs tomorrow is my birthday and i can barely sleep because i know my friends have been planning a huge surprise party and i've been counting down the hours all week Okay, that's pretty good. How about Gemini? Tomorrow is my birthday and I can barely sleep because I know my friends have been planning a huge surprise party and I've been counting down the hours all week. Okay, so if you want to download the audio, just click this three dot icon and then select download. So yeah that's basically it it is very very simple by the way there is actually a way to not you know inserting the api key every single time you want to use this tool you can you know tell gemini to use your api key like you can copy and paste the api key right here and then gemini will put that into the code and therefore it's always be there but be sure to not share the api key or share the app to anybody else Keep it private because it contains your happy yaki and you don't want to share it to anyone so yeah that's basically how you can generate gemini labs a tool where it is utilizing gemini tts and 11 of tts into one place for sub -side comparison thank you so much for watching and i'll see you on my next video have a great day